In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Porter Capture X8 as a USB audio interface and also how you can use each of these individual inputs to record. Setting up the Tascam as an interface, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need your Tascam and you're going to need a USB-C cable which plugs in the side of the Tascam and whichever end goes to your computer of choice. In my case, I'm using a MacBook Pro. So when your Tascam is booted up, you're going to need to go into manual mode. If you're already in a different mode, like ASMR for instance, you'll need to click the top left button, which looks like three lines, and then go down to Launcher and then scroll till you see manual and go into manual mode. So now that we're in manual mode, you'll need to change it so that it's USB audio interface. So you'll have to go to the top again where it's got the three lines, click on that and then click on input select. Next, you'll wanna change tracks one and two to USB, which makes one and two your stereo output for the interface. So click that one and then click USB, which is down in the bottom right. Now go back. You'll wanna get your USB-C cable, plug it in the side, and then plug it into your computer. So to use this as an interface and set up a microphone so it goes straight into your DAW and not recording onto the Tascam, you grab your microphone. In this case, I'm using a Rode NT1, and I'm gonna use channel six. So I plug it in like that, and then you'll wanna click on the little microphone icon. Make sure it says input mic. Sometimes it's online or external. Then you'll wanna switch on phantom power because this microphone needs phantom power. Turn that one on, click back. And then I'll turn the other ones off because I'm not using them. And then I'll click home. All right, now we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you where we take it from here. So the DAW I'm using is Cubase and you can use any DAW for this. So I'll go up to Studio, go to Studio Setup, go to Audio System and change the driver to the Porter Capture X8. Switch the driver to that. And if you have a different sample rate, you'll have to match it up in the Porter Capture. So you'll have to go onto the three lines, go to General Settings, Record Settings, and then sample. So if you're using 96 on your DAW for the project, or if you're using 44.1 for the project, you'll have to match it up on the Porter Capture so it's the same as on the computer. It won't do it automatically. It will have a pop-up saying a little error. So yeah, just pop in and match them up. So now when you're adding an audio track, here's where I got a little bit confused when I was trying to set it up. I added my audio track, went down to Porter Capture X86, clicked Add Track, opened it up on the bottom and realized there was no audio coming in. There was audio coming in from like the stereo, which isn't really what I wanted. That was just like the stereo mix down from the Porter Capture. And going through the manual quite a few times, I realized that when you're selecting the audio channels, track six on the Porter Capture, which the microphone is in, is actually track eight on your audio inputs for the interface. So if we select that one, and I'll just put focal mic, click add track, and now I'll open up the mixer on the bottom, and now you can see it's coming through on the microphone. So now I'm talking into the microphone, which is going straight into the Porter Capture. You can see it's popping up on the levels in Cubase, and you can also see it's coming through on channel six on the Porter Capture. So now if I record that one, Yo, yo, this is Ollie speaking through the microphone, which is going straight into the Porter Capture and then back onto the computer. And then if we play that one back. Yo, yo, this is Ollie speaking through the microphone, which is going straight into the Porter Capture and then back onto the computer. And that's it. So to quickly recap, channels five and six on the Porter Capture are USB in seven and eight. Channels three and four on the Porter Capture are USB in five and six, and channels one and two, so these ones up here, are USB in three and four, and USB in one and two is the stereo mix. So it's that stereo mix up here. Cheers for watching. I hope the video was helpful. I got really confused when I was trying to first set this up, and I did go through the manual a couple of times, but 
I am probably like a lot of people and I couldn't be bothered to go through the manual. I just wanted to get it set up straight away. So I thought I'd do this video to help me in the future as well as helping you lot set up your portal capture as an interface. I post lots of videos with sound design and fuel recording on my channel. So be sure to check that out if you fancy it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers.